here are the seven things that I found to be true, that I wished that I knew in my teens, but unfortunately found out after years of struggle, unnecessary pain, and most of it, a lot of wasted time. By the way, I'm Jordan, 23 years old, did over $4 million in revenue, hired over 50 people, and I make videos on YouTube since 2012. I say this because you care about numbers, don't you? Brings me to the first truth. Society cares about appearance over effectiveness, and so do you. Society cares about numbers. More is good, more money, more books, more AI features, more innovation. Even the belief that more life is good. But for what do you live, my friend? Have you ever asked yourself why doctors keep humans alive just to keep them alive? just for more years. Your parents have been conditioned by this society and raised you with this conditioning. Therefore, 99% of the people who probably watch this care about appearance over effectiveness, how you appear instead of who you really are and therefore what you really have and got and what is important to you. I mean, you see this everywhere. Fortune 500 CEOs care about more AI stuff into their products. Appearance, right? This is appearance. Even if it isn't effective for their users, just to appear good to their investors. And your father cares more about his role as a father than effectively raising his son or daughter. And really, don't believe me. Just look at what happens when the opinion of others come into play. I won't give you answers. Just look and ask yourself when they start to judge your father on his role as a father. This brings me to the second truth. Everyone, and I say this with almost certainty, everyone that you've ever met cares about the opinion of others more so than the truth. Just look at your own life. Have you ever met someone who did not care about the conditioned, untrue opinion of someone else? Can you name one? person. If you can, go find that man or woman, for he or she may be a god amongst followers, a moon among stars, a flame surrounded by water. Now I have to keep saying this disclaimer, especially to new people who watch this. I'm a conditioned individual, just like you. I'm not better than you. I just have found things to be absolutely true for myself. And I would ask you to do the same for you too. And these videos might help you with that, or they may not. You might hear new things, things that you've never heard before, things that may, you may not believe. And that's all I'd ask. Don't believe me, don't believe anyone, because beliefs remain beliefs and they won't help you. They can only lead to regret, all right? So question for yourself. This is the only way how you can get something into your bloodline, you see? I mean, that you really change. Otherwise, this and anything else is just like those cool lectures back then that you forget after a day already. Talking about school reminds me of books and brings me to the third truth. Reading books is a net negative. And this is the point where most people stop watching. At least I expect, and maybe I can see later back in the data, if this is really a point where people stop watching. For they believe, really believe that reading books is good, right? And if I ask you right now, do you believe that reading books is, well, if you learn things from it, you would say yes, right? That you learn good things from it. I mean, information is good, IQ is important, and after all, knowledge is power, right? Have you ever asked yourself if all this information that is reaching you could be limiting you and your potential? I know there is a slight tone in my voice where I assume that is the case. You're unserious if you believe that. You're serious if you ask yourself. Don't you see that you have magical capabilities within you? Don't you see that the things that you're really good at that you didn't learn those things from books brings me to the fourth truth. Most of the information in the world is useless to you. All right, this is, this is interesting. By now, maybe just one person is still watching this. For the other 99 people who are watching think I'm crazy and I have no idea what I'm talking about. And that's fine. For the 99 people that think that way are too conditioned to ask themselves after reading a sentence. So to the one who is st serious and still watching, to you I have a question. When you type in a question into Google, what do you see? Information, right? Lots of information. So then you look for the answer to your question. For example, how to replace a tire. You find some answers, maybe just the first one, you try it out and you replace your tire. This can be seen as valuable information, right? Now, I agree with that. But was this an important question? How to replace your tire? Does the job you need to drive to with your car really matter? Really? 
I mean, would you care about how to replace your tire if you had cancer right now? I, I know I go to an extreme here, but it often seems the way to find the truth that the information in the world is only solving unimportant questions to you. For the important things in your life, you don't find them through Google, right? You don't find them through steps, methods, notion templates, ChatGPT, YouTube, or even one-on-one -on -one coaching for that sake. They are found for yourself, by yourself, from within yourself. Really, think about it. I won't pause. So if you want to think about it, pause here. I will go to the fifth third. Virtually nobody really knows what they want. Most people think they know what they want. I thought I knew what I wanted. I wanted to be rich, I wanted to travel, I want to donate money and help people for others. I want to make an impact, whatever that may be. So let me explain this truth, that nobody really knows what they really want. When you make money, you see it as your money. When you become famous, you see it as your fans. When you donate to charity, you see it as your donation, right? Even when you make an impact in this world, you see it as your impact. Everything is done for the ego. Virtually everything is a product of the mind. And you will keep wasting your life if you do not see this as truth for yourself. That nothing that you really think that you want is something you really want. And for even in that, there is untruth. For a you doesn't even exist. But that's a topic for another video. So for the sixth truth that I found for myself, this voice inside of my head is not normal and I do not have to listen to it. Control your mind or it will control you. I say this often for it is true. And what is not true is the things that your mind projects onto you. Your mind is like a broken mirror. You can't see reality through it. And since I assume no one has ever taught you this, you are basically doomed to keep listening to this inner voice forever. And for your whole life, you won't be able to see reality. Now this may raise the question, why do you want to see reality? Now you, sh you should not. Keep dreaming and keep having nightmares. You see what I mean here? So for the one who feels he or she wants to escape from this invisible cage, here is my seventh truth. To become a master in your field, you have to let go of followers. If you could master life by reading the Bible, many people would be Jesus. Rare people are rare. I'm almost certain you are raised with false beliefs. And seeing through all of these false beliefs and therefore limitations put on you can take years, decades, or may never happen. And being around people not on this same path as you, which I assume you are as you watch this video, you will keep limit yourself. So if you desire a path to mastery, ultimate satisfaction, whatever that means to you, it will probably be a path alone. By all means, keep your eyes open for that rare, unique individual that you may come across in your life. But rare people are rare. This is true. And don't expect you will meet him or her. For this creates hope, which will create suffering if you don't find this person. And maybe create joy if you can find this person. That's it for today. Talk soon. And the serious person may check the show notes. And to the unserious, here's a poem. Because you love distracting yourself while I'm not asking you the important questions don't you? Numbers, numbers, they all desire. More money, more fame, more wood, but no fire. What of the soul, my friend? What of your heart? In pursuit of more, don't you tear it apart? What you truly want, deep in your core? Riches, fame, or something more? Books, they preach, yet limit your sight. Information overload makes you blind. So may you see through the mind. And don't believe me, just see for yourself, finally see.